So to test this question, we ran a seemingly simple study. This was done at the Yale Center for um, Clinical and Translational Research. And we brought people into our lab under the impression that we were designing different milkshakes with vastly different metabolic concentrations, nutrient concentrations, um, that were designed to meet different metabolic needs of the patrons of the hospital, right? So you're going to come in, you're going to taste these milkshakes, and we're going to measure your body's physiological response to them. This was a within-subjects design, so it was the same people uh, consuming two different milkshakes, two different time points separated by a week. And at one time point, they were told that they were consuming this really high-fat, high-caloric indulgent milkshake. It was like a 620 calorie, super high fat and sugar. The other time point, they were told that it was a low fat, low calorie, sensible sort of diet shake. In reality, it was the exact same shake. It was right in the middle. It was like 300 calories, moderate amount of, of fats and sugars. And we were measuring their body's gut peptide response to this shake. And in particular, we were looking at the hormone ghrelin. Our medical experts call it the hunger hormone, rises in ghrelin, signal, you know, seek out food. Uh, and then theoretically, in proportion to the amount of calories you consume, ghrelin levels drop, signaling to the brain, okay, you don't, you, can, you don't need to eat so much anymore, you can stop eating, and also revving up the metabolism to burn the nutrients that were just ingested. What we found in this study was that when people thought they were consuming the high-fat, high-calorie, indulgent milkshake, their ghrelin levels dropped at a threefold rate <laughs> stronger than when they thought they were consuming the sensible shake. So essentially, their bodies responded as if they had consumed more food, even though it was the exact same shake at both time points. It was, to my knowledge, one of the first studies to show any effects of just believing that you're eating something different on your physio 